I want my best employees to leave. And that's, that's so different from any other workplace you work at because we are a training facility here. So we're, we're, we are a nonprofit, like all other lighthouses in Texas and in the United States. We're different in that we are 100% self-funded. We manufacture some clothing items. We manufacture some military items. And then we operate about a million square feet of warehouse and distribution space here in Austin and the surrounding counties. We employ about 450 people, 250 of which are legally blind, many of whom are totally blind, but all of, all of them are legally blind. Our mission here is to train blind Texans so they can have independence, so they, so they can continue to work, they can provide for themselves, not need somebody else to support them or the, or the, the government to support them. They want to be independent. As far as a business, we can stay doing what we've been doing because it's working, but pretty soon we're going to get left behind. So without integrating technology like this, we're not going to go anywhere. We're not going to be able to be competitive in our own contracts. And what we want to do is we want to get out of the commercial world. And if Amazon is using this type of equipment, they can walk in there now and say, I know exactly what that is. So we're using the AMRs on a daily basis. They, they help out in shipping and they help out in receiving as well. They're doing all the, the put away items. They're taking carts from receiving, bringing them to the, the P&D locations we have out here. When you're traveling, you're not working. When you're bringing stuff from point A to point B, that's taking you away from the job you're supposed to be doing. And the AMRs have, have almost eliminated all of that wasted travel time. And it's, it's been tremendous. Before, it would take us maybe four to five days to get through one, one whole truck with let's say 60 pallets. With this new way that we're doing things now, we're able to get done with the truck within two to three days. Pull there, uh, pick up that empty, and then come back to the specific one, right? Okay. Fetch has been doing this for a long time. They're very involved, but I think this is the first time they've worked with a community that is blind or visually impaired. So this is a huge partnership between us and them. I've never worked with a robot before. So I didn't know what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to do it. We get on site, uh, we uncreate the robots, set up the chargers, uh, connect them online. Uh, once they're talking to FetchCore, which is our cloud-based applica web application, we hook up a robot to create a new map. Basically, it'll go around the facility, scan, and replicate a copy of what the environment of the robots are. The program that I use to basically operate the AMRs is called FetchCore. There's a mapping system that we can virtually see the robots in their position. Um, one is right now at the very back of the receiving area. The Lighthouse is the big visionary in kind of using technology. And the RF guns have been tremendous. Uh, with the new access that they have, they can do portrait and landscape and they can move it. And then there's a talkback feature now. But these screens now are just like cell phones and they let, they're real good, they work real good. And I like the fact that we can zoom in, uh, invert from white to black, black to white, and so yeah. I really like the new one. It helped a lot, able to, AI, able to see, I can make it bigger, it eat it, and able to change the background to the different card I able to see better. So the, the proof is in the pudding. Anyone wants to see data, we have the data. The, the numbers have increased, they have doubled. Efficiency and effectivity have doubled since we've introduced the RF guns and AMRs. That sounds like almost too good to be true. It, it does, but it's not. If you want to see the data, I'll show you. Things are always changing in technology and they're trying, trying to bring us up to date. They, they just want, want to try to make, find a way to make it easier for us. And they care for each and one of us and they're giving us the opportunity to do something with our lives and not just be at home and be you know, miserable. Oh, I got the vision problem, there's nothing for me to do. They give us chances and hope. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to take sighted positions and convert them to blind or visually impaired because they can do anything else that a sighted person can do. They'll just do it a little bit differently. The skills and the knowledge that come with it, I'm learning something new every single day. So I, I love it.